writing that Meadows' legal team failed to make a persuasive case that he would actually win on appeal, adding that Meadows' filing didn't even address the substance of the court order to get his Georgia trial underway. Joining me now is Paul Butler, former federal prosecutor, professor of law at Georgetown University and MSNBC legal analyst, and Katie Fang, former Florida prosecutor, MSNBC legal contributor, and the host of the Katie Fang Show right here on MSNBC. We, this is our dynamic duo. We like to bring you guys together. Let, let's, let's start talking about this attempt to get a stay. So Mark Meadows obviously playing for time. Um, how likely is it that he'll get a stay? It's very unlikely because he does not have a case. <laughs> He's trying to get the case moved from federal, from state court to federal court, and he's trying to get it dismissed. So he gets it removed if he can prove that he was carrying out federal responsibilities, and that's the subject of the criminal charge. Right. Last week, a trial judge told him in no uncertain terms he had no federal business in Georgia. Under the Constitution, administering elections, uh, that's a state responsibility. Mm -hmm. President Trump had nothing to do with that. That didn't stop him. As we all know, Trump threatened those election workers. And in these motions, again, it's really Donald Trump who's being implicated. Founding Willis loves the part of this where the defendants are demonstrating it's every woman and man for themselves. Yeah. So it's not like 19 people versus Fannie Willis. Right. Uh, they're all looking to make a deal, looking to get a break, even if that means implicating the former president, as we saw Mark Meadows do last week, yeah. when he said everything that he did was directed by Donald Trump, not a defense for Mark Meadows. Very incriminating for Donald Trump. Very interesting, right? Because, you know, Katie, it, it does.